We're right here in the office of the Director General of CERN, Rolf Dieter Heuer. Now, the 19th of September uh, in the last year, that was a black day at CERN. How dramatic is actually the break? The break is dramatic in, times, in terms of times because it takes now one, it took a bit more than one year to, to do everything. And, uh, but it's not dramatic in the sense of spirit. The spirit is very high. Mm -hmm. But what we had to do was, first of all, we had to repair the damage. Secondly, we had to measure all the other connections in order to be sure that something like this w could be avoided again. And thirdly, we had to install a lot of new electronics, cabling, etc. And all this together takes more than one year, but which, then we are pretty sure to start up safely. Which is a long time, one year, <coughs> since also physicists in America and Chicago are also searching for the Higgs boson. Are you afraid they might outpace you? No, I'm not afraid of this, because if I look only on science, I don't care where it, uh, things are found first. And secondly, even if they find something, they only can find indications and only LHC can mm -hmm. tell you if there's really something. And thirdly, when we switch on in November, after one year, we will have been, we will have the same discovery potential or even better than our friendly competitors in the U.S. But you're not only a scientist, but you're also the director general of CERN. So how important is it to find the Higgs boson, if there is a Higgs boson, actually here at CERN? I think it would be very important. It would be a very stim um, a huge stimulus for CERN, that's clear. But it would be even more important for the progress of particle physics and the progress of research fundamental research in general, so it would be very important. But wouldn't it be also maybe kind of boring? Because if you find a Higgs boson, all you do is confirm the standard model of elementary particles, and so to say, you'd have no surprise. I'm pretty sure that the surprise is outside the standard model. You are right, we would confirm the standard model, but the standard model can only be a model which is valid for our energy reach, re mm -hmm. region. If you go beyond our energy, much beyond our energy uh, range, then there must be another model which incorporates the standard mm -hmm. model, but which goes further, like, for example, supersymmetry. So physics, as we <coughs> think today, is still correct, whether we find the Higgs or whether we don't find it? Yes, of course, because we have measured it, so it's correct. And compare it to Newton's mechanics. Do you feel anything from the relativistic mechanics? No. Not very much. Because you are not in that velocity range. Mm -hmm. You can compare the standard model to, the, to a range with, uh, within a certain energy limit and then the new model mm -hmm. beyond that, like the difference between Newton and Einstein's relativity. 